yes, it's been too long. I love the background. You're beautiful. Look at you. You, you too. Merry, Thank you. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone, to all our families and friends. Thank you so very much for joining us today and our special regional children's ministry Christmas special. Woo! Yes, and so um, at this time, we're getting ready to start with a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful prayer selection and scripture reading, starting with Dwight Evans from Jerusalem Avenue, Caleb Johnson from Harlem, and Madison McGee from South Ozone Park. Heavenly Father, I come before you. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being a cherishing and loving Father. Thank you for providing for me. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will be able to bless the children's program tonight. I pray that you will be able to bless the leaders and the presenters tonight. So they will be able to go on and present and talk with an open mind. They will be able to give to their pupils the knowledge that they have gathered from you. And Heavenly Father, they'll be able to show themselves the correct way. Heavenly Father, I pray that the viewers who are watching this will be able to gather something from this program. They'll be able to gather something new, some new information that they've never learned ever before, Heavenly Father. Whether it's a new Bible scripture or whether it's a new parable, I pray, Heavenly Father, they'll be able to gather something new. Heavenly Father, I pray for the children who are viewing this, the children who are even presenting. I pray that they'll be able to present with joy and with happiness, that they'll be able to be excited to be on this Christmas program. They'll be able to learn that Christmas is not just about presents, that it is your birthday. Now, instead of just focusing on presents, that we should focus on your birthday and your birth. We should celebrate you. I pray, Heavenly Father, for those who are viewing this and have no, no intention of praising you. I pray, Heavenly Father, they'll be able to change their mind, that they'll be able to focus more on you and your beautiful work. I pray, Heavenly Father, that those who are viewing this will be able to show themselves the best way they can. In Jesus' mighty name and powerful name, amen. Today, I will be reading for you John 3, 16. Jesus answered, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine shall not perish, but have eternal life. Our second scripture will be taken from Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Amen. Yes, and thank you so very much, Madison, for that wonderful scripture that you just read. And for those of you who don't remember, it was taken from Matthew chapter 1, verses 21, where it's talking about the birth of our special Lord Jesus, which brings us into the wonderful segment of worship. Woo! Because of Christ, we have Christmas. You may not understand it. But listen to the words of this song. Sing along with us as we sing, It's Christmas Time! Yay!
Did you enjoy that? That was so awesome. I just can't stop singing that song. Woo! <laughs> Oh, let me contain myself. We have some special guests in yes, the house. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes. All the way from the Northeast region, we have our Bishop and Lady Greenaway. And then from our International Children's Ministries office, we have Sean, Leslie, and Joy. So let's welcome them, shall we? Welcome. Bishop. Welcome. Yes. Take it away, Bishop. Merry Christmas to all our beautiful kids in the Northeast region. God bless you. All the best for the new year. Merry Christmas to our ministry team, Sister Naomi Gilbert and Sister Denise Cameron. Thank you for all that you've done for our kids and for this region this year. Blessings. Merry Christmas to all of our wonderful kids in the Northeast region. May you have the best Christmas ever. May all of your dreams come true. Have a beautiful time with your family. We love you. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Sean. And I'm Leslie. And I'm Joy. And we're here to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. We get to serve children in ministries all around the world who tell kids about Jesus. And so we're really excited to send you a Christmas greeting during this virtual Christmas party. There's so much to like best about Christmas. How about you guys tell us on the count of three what your favorite part of Christmas is. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. Wow, great job. I heard things like eating Christmas goodies, decorating the Christmas tree, and presents. Who doesn't love presents? That's right, and one of my favorite things at Christmas time is going and looking at lights. How about you? My family loves to drive around our town looking at all the places that are decorated with lights. We like to decorate our own home with lights, and sometimes, we even wear our lights. Well, this Christmas is very different from many other years. For families and communities, there have been many challenges because of the virus, and it seems like there just isn't much to celebrate. But there is good news. You can help brighten this Christmas for your family and those around you. In the Bible, Jesus told us that he is the light of the world. That's right, and as you reflect his light and the love that he brings to your heart, and I reflect the love that he brings to my heart and our lives, well, we light up the world around us. So, shine the light of Jesus this Christmas season, and remember that we love you and so does Jesus. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you so much. We are blessed to have the support of our regional and our international offices. God is good, right, Naomi? Yes, he sure is. He is good. Right now, we're going to watch and listen to a special project that Sister Dana Blackwood, who's one of the directors for our Trailblazers camp, she put together for us. But I think it's better to have her introduce it. Go ahead, Sister Dana. Hi, my name is Sister Dana and I had the distinct pleasure of working alongside different children of the Northeast region to present The Little Drummer Boy. Please enjoy.
Awesome. Those children did such a wonderful they job. Were all, they were great. They were great. I am, I am telling you, Denise. Yes. Oh my God. We have such gifted children and we thank Sister Dana. Thank you, Sister Dana. For putting on such a wonderful rendition of the Truma Boy. But now we get a chance, you get a chance to participate along with us in our first arts and craft project. Now, the caveat with this is you get to participate right where you are in your very own home. At the end of the project, you get to send us a picture or a video yeah. of the end project, the end product. And let me tell you what happens when you do that. Both Denise and I will take a look at that and we get to send you a gift but we have to receive it by tonight nice. at the number that is listed on the screen. So if you would like to receive a prize of your very own, you go right ahead, participate in this video um, where Kenesha and her daughter Peyton are going to be making the lollipop angel. Are you ready? Do you have your supplies ready? Take it away, Miss Kenesha and Miss Peyton. Hi, my name is Kenesha. My name is Peyton. How old are you? Six years old. And we are making lollipop angels. So what we need is a... We need a lollipop. A coffee filter and pipe cleaners so we got assorted colors sherry chose blue i am going to choose this razzle dazzle red 
No, it's kind of pink. This is pinky properly looking one. Yeah. So she's gonna do hers and I'm gonna do mine. First thing we wanna do is you grab the yellow on the top. Yep. And make the top flat. Like so. Then what do we do next? We grab the coffee filter and put it over our lollipop. Make sure it's in the middle. You can kind of make it even as much as possible. Ooh. Press it down. Tell them what you do with yours. Well, I before I um, put mine on, I always loop you a little bit because um, it's harder for me. And I like to do my waistband first. So, you take the bottom and just wrap it around like so. And just go around a couple times until it stops and just keep it really snug. Cause this bottom is gonna be our skirt. Now, if you use larger coffee filters, what happens is you'll have a bigger skirt and it'll look something like this. Now, after you've gone around, mm -hmm. see she already has her halo on top. After you've gone around, you bring the top, you bring the back to the top straight like this, and just to make sure you have enough, and then to make our halo. So I hold the back with my thumb, go around, make a nice little circle, and just kind of make it go around like a knot just so you can tie it. Even if you have to do it like this, up straight in the air, that's fine. And then just bend it down. That's and our then, halo. And then next you wanna do like open the bottom and make it like a skirt. Oh, yours is pretty, I like that. Yes. So you have our angel. The last thing we need is a face. You draw two eyes, a beautiful smile, and you have a pretty, the delicious angel. So, mine is pink. She has a blue. We have a gold, gold a green, and a, and a silver. And a silver one. And she's actually going to draw a face on hers so that you can see. It's easier. Can you show them how you draw your face? Yes. You want to do some eyes on both sides, so you won't get the eyes on different sides. Mm -hmm. And I draw eyes on mine. You see, I kind of messed up because the paper is not that flat. So you um, do it like that and there goes your angel. Now I drew mine and I give her eyebrows just because there's something a little bit different. But this is a super easy craft that you can do with your kids. We don't eat candy, so we find other things to do with them. And here's nice little gifts so you can give to your friends. Friends and family. Yes. Have fun making your angel pops. So, mm. Hi, my name is Kanisha. My name is Peter. How old are you? Six years old. And we are making lollipop angels. So what we need is a... We need a lollipop. A coffee filter. And pipe cleaners. So we got assorted colors. Sherry chose blue. I am going to choose this razzle dazzle. Red. No, it's kind of pink. This is pinky properly looking one. Yeah. So she's gonna do hers and I'm gonna do mine. First thing we wanna do is you grab the yellow on the top. Yep. And make the top flat. Like so. 
Then, what do we do next? We grab the coffee filter and put it over our lollipop. Make sure it's in the middle. So you can kind of make it even as much as possible. Ooh. Press it down. Tell them what you did with yours. Well, I before I um, put mine on, I always loop it a little bit because um, it's harder for me. And I like to do my waistband first. So, you take the bottom and just wrap it around like so. And just go around a couple times until it stops and just keep it really snug. This bottom is gonna be our skirt. Now, if you use larger coffee filters, what happens is you'll have a bigger skirt and it'll look something like this. Now, after you've gone around, mm -hmm. see she already has her halo on top. After you've gone around, you bring the top, you bring the back to the top straight like this, and just to make sure you have enough, and then we make our halo. So I hold the back with my thumb, go around, make a nice little circle, and just kind of make it go around like a knot just so you can tie it. Even if you have to do it like this, up straight in the air, that's fine. And then just bend it down. That's and our then, halo. And then next you wanna do like open the bottom and make it like a skirt. Oh. I use this pretty, I like that. Yes. So we have our angel. The last thing we need is a face. You draw two eyes, a beautiful smile, and you have a pretty, delicious angel. So, mine is pink, she has a blue, we have a gold, gold a green, and a, and a silver. And a silver one. And she's actually gonna draw a face on hers so that you can see. It's either. Can you show them how you draw your face? You want to do some eyes on both sides, so you won't get the eyes on different sides. Mm -hmm. And I draw eyes on mine. You see, I kind of messed up because the paper is not that flat. So you um, do it like that and there goes your angel. Now I drew mine and I give her eyebrows just because there's something a little bit different. But this is a super easy craft that you can do with your kids. We don't eat candy, so we find other things to do with them. And here's nice little gifts so you can give to your friends. Friends and family. Yes. Have fun making your angel pops. Wow, Kanisha and Peggy, that's awesome. That was such a wonderful job. Did Very you good. remember? Take a picture or video and send it to us tonight before 12 a.m. <laughs> okay. And just as a good segue to the angel. We are going to get ready for story time where we're going to hear about the birth of Jesus and the special role that the angels played in that story. Are you ready? I am. Here it is. Nazareth was a little town where a girl named Mary could be found. Mary loved God and she loved to pray. Then something amazing happened one day. The angel Gabriel came to Mary and told her she was chosen. Mary, you will have a special baby. He will be God's gift to the world. Mary answered, But I have no husband. How can this happen? Gabriel said, Your baby will be the Son of God. 
He will save the people from their sin and bring the world back to God again. Mary said, The mother of the Son of God I will be. Let it happen as you say. I love God and I will obey. In Nazareth, this little town, a man called Joseph could be found. The angel Gabriel visited Joseph and called him by name. Joseph, Mary will have a baby, the Son of God, a little boy. His name must be Jesus, and he will bring you so much joy. God knows you love Mary, so make her your wife. Be a good father to Jesus all of your life. When it was time for Jesus' birth, there was so much that had to be done. Everyone had to register and travel to their hometown. To Bethlehem, Joseph and Mary must go. Joseph packed the donkey and carried Mary in tow. That night they reached Bethlehem, but there were no rooms to be found. The baby was coming. Mary and Joseph needed a place to be safe and sound. So Joseph and Mary stayed with the animals, all clean and toasty and warm. In that lowly manger, the sweet baby Jesus was born. Angels filled the sky over the hills. The shepherds were terrified and stood very still. Go find the baby that was born this night. He will bring the world goodness and light. Glory to God in the highest. The angels did sing. Peace on earth, goodwill to all men. That's what God brings. The shepherds ran down from the hills. They saw baby Jesus and stood very still. They worshipped and bowed down and told everyone in town, Goodwill and peace on earth is what God brings. Born this day is God's Son, the newborn King. In the sky appeared a bright star, seen by the wise men who lived very far. The meaning of this special star was clear. The newborn king has arrived. He is here. They packed up their riches and camels and traveled. At King Herod's castle they searched for the newborn king because they had precious gifts to bring. But they were told to go to Bethlehem. The wise men left Herod's and they followed the star. The mother and child weren't very far. They found him in Bethlehem as they were told, and gave him gifts of myrrh, frankincense, and gold. In their sleep that night, the wise men did dream. An angel told them not to tell Herod where they have been. Herod was jealous and wanted to kill the babe. Go home another way, and do not delay. When King Herod did not hear from the wise men, he realized that they had run away. He called his soldiers to kill all the babies without delay. But the angel spoke to Joseph in his sleep at night. He said, Do not be in a fright. You must take the baby and his mother and run. The king's soldiers are about to come. God will keep you safe and sound. Stay in Egypt until Herod's no longer around. To Egypt, Joseph and Mary and Jesus must go. Joseph packed the camel with Mary and Jesus in tow. God would keep his promise to save the world from their sin. Jesus would bring people back to God again. Did you enjoy that Bible story? How about you, Naomi? You enjoyed it? I sure did, Miss Denise. I sure did. So did I. So did I. And as we see, Mary did not realize that she was going to give birth to the best gift we could ever receive. Mm. A gift not only for her, but for the entire world. Isn't that something? That sure is. That is something. So let's enjoy right now this presentation from our regional children's dance ministry. Mary, did you know? Mary, 
did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. That was great. That was so oh, great. those children did such a wonderful job. They did. I was so I blessed. Mean, it was Very so good. heartfelt and so touching. Yeah. I feel like I can just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got them just bring it back in. <laughs> bring it back. Bring it back, Naomi. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you know, just like the song mentioned, you know, Mary did not know. The, the, the gift that she was bringing into the world was not just for herself, but for, right. for everyone. Mm -hmm. She didn't know. But, you know, we were so grateful that she was so humble, meek, and she honored God and she brought Christ into this world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as we're thinking about Christ, you know, it's because of him we can celebrate Christmas. And so we are so honored. We're so honored that we have uh, dynamic workers all around that are still willing to contribute. And we are, we have a special guest all the way in Illinois, Pastor Janet Waite Pratt, yeah. who will be doing her story time telling on the night before Christmas. And then following her, we are going to travel to the Northeast to Hartford, Connecticut, where our young, talented yeah. Paul Anthony and Jonathan will be playing a very, their musical selection for us. They are so gifted. They are very gifted, so, yes. You know, at this time, we're just going to turn it over to Pastor Janet Wade Pratt. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Welcome to our Christmas story hour, the night before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas and all through the land, people were traveling to their own homeland. The inns were full of travelers, you must know. Dada. And a young couple was frantically searching for a place to go. She was heavy with child and found permission Dada. to rest in a small Dada. stable, not considered the best. Dada. In a manger and hay, not much more, just a few animals and a dirt floor. Mm. In the same country abiding in the field, Shepherds were tending their sheep as they will. The stars up above were shining up high. One in particular seemed to light up the sky. All of a sudden, there appeared in the sky an angel of God with a message from on high. The angel announced, Do not be afraid. I bring you good tidings for all people today. A savior is born to you not far away, which is Christ the Lord, they had to say. In the city of David, wrapped in old clothes, lying in a manger, is the sign you are sure to know. And suddenly, there was singing in the air, a multitude of angels singing everywhere. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, goodwill toward all men. And when they were gone, the shepherds agreed that they wanted to see and they traveled to Bethlehem immediately. When they arrived, they found the sign, Mary, Joseph, and the babe, just as they had said it would be. He was lying in the manger, just as the angels had proclaimed. They told the parents that they had been told of this holy child that she now holds. As Mary was thinking of things they had, sa they had said, she, they returned to the major and they bowed their heads. They praised and they prayed and glorified him for all the things the angels had said. Eight days later, when it was time, the small child Jesus was named. Remember the star that lighted the sky? That special night when the angels came by? He sees an eight, the star, I think. From even that death time, from lands afar, there had been three kings who also followed that star. <laughs> it had taken much time to follow its lead, yet they rejoiced with great joy when they saw he who would redeem. A mother named Mary with the child that they saw, they fell to the ground and they worshipped in awe. They brought him gifts of myrrh, frankincense, and gold. The most precious of items, I am told. Over 2,000 years have passed since then, when Jesus was born to redeem us from sin. He came and he lived and he died for us all. God Almighty, oh how he loves us. He promised to be back, it may be very soon indeed, to gather his bride to a wedding feast. We will remember Christmas forevermore. So give your gifts, but remember Jesus who was the greatest gift of all. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. May your life be filled with joy. May your life be filled with light. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Season's greeting everyone. We're here to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year when it comes. Thank you. 
Janet. I like the biblical twist you did on that story the night before Christmas. And thank you, Paul, Anthony, and Jonathan. God has blessed you guys with great talent. You both did an awesome job, right, right yes. Naomi? They yes. did great. Yes. They did great. Yes, yes, Sister, Sister Denise. <laughs> now it's time for our baking segment with Sister Venetia and her two daughters, Tasia and Tanaya. They will be making cake in a mug. Yes, it can be done. Following them will be our second arts and crafts with Sister Abby, mm -hmm. and she will be making a Christmas ornament. Yes. Now we sent out the necessary ingredients for the baking and the materials needed for the crafts to the district leaders. And we also posted it on the Children's Ministries Facebook page. Now, if you complete this, these activities, just like Sister Naomi said, be sure to send us pictures or a video to either number listed below, okay? Remember, we must receive it tonight. And what will happen? You will receive a prize. Are you excited? Yes. Now, are you ready? Are you ready, Naomi? I sure am. All right. Happy baking and crafting, everybody. Hi, everyone. This is your girl, Venetia. This is your girl, Tanaya. And this is my older daughter, Taja. She will be <laughs> the baker today because she knows how to bake. Well, today we will be baking a cake on a dime and in a minute or two minutes, okay? I'm going to turn over to the bakers, Tanaya and Taja. <laughs> Tanaya will be baking her unicorn cake in a cup, comes with sprinkles, everything to make it looks like a cake. This cake takes exactly one minute in the microwave the only thing needed for it is either water or milk. So I'm about to turn it over to the bakers. Are you ready? Yeah. So we start with the raw cake batter. So normally you use like one packet, but for presentation wise and for this video, we're gonna use two packets to make the cake more fluffier. Or you could do that too for yourself to use a cake. So, it's a nail. Remember now, yours is just in this cup. So it states that for this little cup, all we need to do is add cold water to the fill line, which is basically three tablespoons and stir well. So we're instead of water, we want it to come out real nice. So we're gonna use some milk. So we're gonna pour the milk until it gets to the line. There you go. So we gotta stir it. So you're gonna stir it until it's smooth. And I have to use double the amount of milk because it's two servings I'm using. I'm gonna double it so like six to, you know, for the preference for this batch. So simply just, if you have a measuring cup or if you wanna eyeball it, I like to measure when I bake specifically so I have a one tablespoon um cup right here and tonight you should be stirring yours until it's smooth it's almost smooth keep stirring okay that was six alright so now it's my turn to stir until it's all in one even tone. Let's see, Tanaya. Okay, let me see. Okay, see? Yours is not smooth as yet, so. See, they're not used to this, I am. Okay. <laughs> so now, Tanaya, you're gonna put yours in the microwave. <laughs> And you are going to put it on one minute. Okay. Go ahead. 
You don't need a cover on it. I'll give it to cool for two minutes. Ooh! Look at this. <laughs> That's nice. And then, we got to leave it to cool for two minutes so we could put the the yeah. toppings <laughs> and all of that on it. You have a cake, guys. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, make the brownies. Mm -hmm. Smooth this out for me while I'm We always do things as a family when it comes on to making or little DIY things. We all do it together. That's how we keep our family together most of the time. So brownies. And it comes with the fudge to go inside of it too. Yeah. Oh, it's looking good over there in the microwave. This is the, no, the quickest time I've baked a cake. Here you go with your unicorn cake. Okay. This is really nice and fluffy. Yeah. Can I do the frosting? The frosting? You want to do frosting with me? Oh yeah. Shins are very sweet. Yeah. So I don't think we need to frost them. This one, the brownie. Yours didn't come out like this. Here goes the brownie. Ooh, that's that's the brownie for y'all. I have to just let this, the icing cool with the cake again so that I start with the. For another two minutes. minutes. Alright, ready for this one? Yeah. So I think I'm gonna start the fudge for this and you can finish it. Fudge. Ta da! Oh, okay. That's, so we have the unicorn cake, cake, the keto cake. This is funfetti cake. Mm -hmm. I love funfetti cake, by the way. And um, the chocolate brownie. Yay! It's so tasty. Yeah. Tasting time! <laughs> you should see how the fudge is melting into the brownie. I'm gonna try your cake first. Come on, taste the cake. Come on. How is it? It's good. Okay. The texture is soft. Yeah, it's not. You could tell. We gotta it. cut. We gotta cut the the funfetti cake. Fun. Let me try. Oh, there you I'm go. not a cake person, guys. Came out good. Yep. But now it's time for the brownie. I think this is the most exciting part of the night. You're not gonna get none after, I'm joking. Did it come out better than Tavon's? <laughs> I'm you, you come taste it, taste it from the real baker. No, oh, this is really good, you should try it. I don't like brownies, she don't so like I'm chocolate. not going She don't like chocolate. Guys, chocolate. It's for my brother. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> It's Christmas. If you're not able to go to the bakery and buy yourself a Christmas cake, you go to the corner store, 
go to the supermarket, the most it should cost you is $3. Any kid who knows how to use a microwave can bake themselves a yeah. cake. And it tastes just as if you put it in the oven. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. I need you guys to have a very Merry Christmas. Christmas. And a Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Bye. Hello, and welcome to Christmas Crafting with Abayomi. I'm your host, Abayomi. Today we'll be making an ornament. As you can see, and it's a snow globe ornament. Inside, if you look closely, you'll see that we've got some snow, a park bench, and a street light. And if you shake it up, you'll kind of get that snow effect. So today, the great thing about our craft is that everything can be found at your local Dollar Tree. And it should cost in total no more than $6. How exciting. So, our supplies. First, we're going to need an ornament. If when you go to Dollar Tree, you want to make sure that you get one that has the topper on it for you. We're going to need some fake snow, faux snow. We're going to need some ribbon. We're going to need our little miniature, um, just miniatures, I guess you could call them. They have a few different options, so pick whichever one best suits you. If you don't want to do an ornament and want to do the table topper solution, they have these um, just little mason jar things that you can get. Then we're going to need super glue, scissors, and I like to just use some paper, which I'll explain later. So first things first, you want to cut your tag safely off of your ornament so that you're ready. Then. You can take the bottom off and we'll just stand that up there. We'll take our little ornament. I think I'm going to use ah, this one with our carolers. So we're going to open this right up. And yep, so we've got a little well and a couple carolers with their sheet music. Next, I'm going to take my paper or actually first I'm gonna to try to figure out how do, am I gonna be able to fit all of these in here? This might be kind of tight, so I'm gonna leave out the well and just put my carolers in there. You wanna make sure that when you're placing them, they're not too close to the edges because then we won't be able to put our jar back on. So this is where that piece of paper comes into handy because um, I like to cut it what I found is that the super glue, it doesn't bind very well to the plastic um, and the plastic at the bottom of the miniature. So I like to just have a piece, small piece of paper cut out as a buffer. So I'm gonna take my super glue and just apply it to the back. Be careful not to get it on your fingers. It's kind of a pain if you do. And I'm just gonna place that at the bottom. The best way to avoid super glue on your hand is if you have it to use some um, gloves and that way you're safe and protected. Okay, so I've got my little piece of paper glued in the bottom there and then I'm gonna take my ornament, or my miniature rather, apply some super glue at the bottom there and just stick it onto the paper. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same for the other one apply some glue and stick it to the bottom of the paper. Again, being careful not to put them too close to the edge because I don't want, when I put this back on, I don't want, um, I don't want the jar to knock over my carolers. So while we're gonna put that to the side and let that dry, then I'm gonna take my ribbon. I like to just put it around the top of the um, of the ornament here. And just for extra decoration, you absolutely don't have to use, um, you don't have to use ribbon at all. I like to, but you're more than welcome to do whatever you want. Another thing that you could do is just take a marker and draw kind of on the outside of it, a permanent marker 
and there you've got the same effect. You could write an encouraging message. If you're gifting the ornament to someone, then you could, um, you know, you could write to such and such from me with love. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on one side there and I'm gonna hold it tight. And then I'm just gonna bring this all the way around. I'm gonna let the glue sit there. And then where it overlaps, I'm just gonna put some glue there. And hold that down. If you do get super glue on your fingers, I find the easiest way to get it off is ask if there's nail polish remover in your house, then it'll come off nice and easily for you. So then let me check on the status of my carolers. I can hold them upside down so I know that they're gonna stay. So what you can do, I'm just gonna do a quick test run. Can I put them in? Yes, I can and screw that on. Excellent. So then what you can do is take your fake snow and be careful guys, this makes a mess. We're looking at the top of my table now, but if we were to go underneath, you would see that I have faux snow all over the floor. It's a pain to clean up. Let's hope that I don't do that again, but I make no promises. If you do, just a broom should be enough to um, take care of that. What I think I'm gonna try this time is to cut a small hole in the bottom corner and then just take your snow and dump as much or as little as you want in there. Then, let me see, you wanna, when you put it down, just make sure to rest it carefully so that you don't get snow everywhere. Then I like to just put a little bit of glue randomly at the bottom, at the bases of your, your um, little miniatures or at the base of the ornament just so that, you know, it looks like you've got snow on the ground, even when you're shaking it. So then we can pick our ornament head back up, put our cap upside down, twist it on, shake it up, and then now look, it looks like our carolers are in a blizzard. And then at the bottom, I've just got some snow that'll always be there. You can shake it up. I don't recommend doing liquid, um, the way the faux snow is, it'll kind of just float at the top if we just use water. So we don't do that. But how nice will this look just hanging as an addition to your tree? So I hope you've enjoyed this crafting time with Abayomi. Um, it was a pleasure doing it with you. And if you do this ornament, remember everything can be found at Dollar Tree. Um, just to recap, the ornaments, this portion, would be found in the Christmas section. So, and really they've a lot of Christmas stuff packed together. The faux, oh see, I got it on the table. Faux snow is gonna be found um, either in the Christmas section or in the craft section. Your ribbon, Christmas section. Your miniatures, usually found in the Christmas section, but can be found in, um, you know, just at an end cap or something like that. One more thing, the last thing that you wanna do, we always wanna sign our artwork. So at the bottom, just write your name and then write the year so that you always remember that you did this in the year 2020. Okay, thanks for coming, goodbye. Thank you, Sister Abby, that was so wonderful. You know, I tried it and- um, that Did it worked. work? It, it sure did not, Sister Denise. I just don't know about my giftedness in, in the arts and craft field. That's okay. That's okay. You have it's other gifts. It's yes. okay. I'm sure you did a wonderful job. I actually Christina. did it. Yes. I'll, I'll show it to you. And you know what, children? Remember to send your pictures in. Bug your mom and your daddy. Said, I need to get my pictures in tonight. Tonight. Or video, of course. We accept that. Yeah. But um, we are now moving into our company competition so we put the word out on the streets yes we said we wanted to get tiktok videos um with certain songs we sent the list out to the to the leaders and encouraged the families to you know to get the children involved and to participate well what did you know 
we did not expect the, the overwhelming turnout that we that we received. Right, Sister Denise? No, we didn't expect it. We got a lot. Um, yes. We got over 15 to 20 25 videos. It was so much. We yeah. were tired ourselves, but we were so grateful for yes. the um, it was so much and it's too much to show you tonight so instead of what we originally wanted to do we now had to streamline the process um we were able to look at all the videos that came in and we selected five our top five videos are coming from the following districts which are massachusetts and rhode island Woo! Queens and Long Island, Woo! Capital and Hudson District, yes! Bronx and Bermuda District, Woo oh, I'm sorry, Bronx, Manhattan and Bermuda District, <laughs> Woo and least first beginning but not last Brooklyn district <laughs> so here are the top five videos for your review Church boys. this don't make no sense Sean hey. I hope hey. I bring you glory on this hey. one father hey. Hey. help me now No need to be a pimp, never been cute, never been fly, since I've been changed, got that twinkle in my eye, got my grill fixed, now I smile when I speak, tell me who that is, yo, it's that Jesus freak, yo, you like me, cause I like me, do you like me, see I like me, cause he likes me, God loves me, yo, you all like me, I like me, yo, you like me, cause I like me, juice in the booth, see I like me, why? Cause he likes <laughs> That's the PJ's. Crazy how you love me even when I don't love you like I should. You still love me, father. Hey. You feel me turning up to this day. I like that. Yeah. to choose the top five but we had to choose one from each district and we are so proud of all who participated and especially our five winners the guess what they're going to be receiving sister naomi what our, our top five winners will be receiving a 50 dollar amazon gift card you can buy whatever you want merry christmas we whatever had a, you whatever you want. We had a special contributor who donated the winner, the winnings for all of our winners. He donated it, the prizes. We we so appreciate him and we thank him. And you too, you don't want to be left out. You too can donate and support. 
the Regional Children's Ministries Department. Yes. Make sure right now you write down the link that is above. Can you see it? And it says children.cogopner.org. Or can you see it right above? You see it, Naomi? I sure do. Children dot c o g o p n e r dot org. We would truly, truly appreciate it. And the children, of course, would appreciate it as well. We are so grateful. This has been a good night, right, Naomi? It sure has. It, it sure has. It really has. And we thank all of you who tuned in. We thank all who helped to make this event possible and to all of the children across our region who participated. Wow. Right now, we will hear some Christmas greetings from, from some of our children's leaders from across the region. So let's listen as they wish all of us a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have this is Sister Shange from the Children's Ministry. So the Forgers who sing Happy New Year. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Remember, Jesus is the Queen's of Sight. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry 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 parents, and most of all, our children, a very Merry Christmas. May the Christ of the season fill your heart with comfort, hope, and a new year rich with blessings. Have the best Christmas ever. Coming from the Brooklyn District Children's Ministry Department, Sister Wall, God bless you. This is Sister Joy from the Family Worship Center, Church of God of Prophecy in Hartford, Connecticut. I would like to wish all the boys and girls out there a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Kwanzaa, just Happy Holidays to everyone and their family. Hope you all have a blessed one. Love you all. God bless. Hello, everybody. It's that time of the year. And on behalf of the Queens Long Island District Children's Ministry, I want to wish you a season that's merry and bright. And that the true meaning of Christmas will shine in your hearts. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. And may your hearts be light. Enjoy. And remember, stay safe, stay warm, and keep the light burning. God bless you. Merry Christmas, everyone. My name is Sister Tremita Martin. I am the youth leader at the Brockton Church of God of Prophecy, located in Brockton, Massachusetts. And I just want to wish everyone a very, very Merry Christmas. And also want to remind everyone that you cannot take Christ out of Christmas. Have a great one. Merry Christmas. Thank you, leaders. We thank you all so, so very much. You have been such hard workers. Yes. You've been on the front line throughout this pandemic year, uh, throughout the years before that. You've always been in the front line. And we truly appreciate the hard work that you have done. We cannot repay you for all that you have done. This is not even half of our leaders, but we just wanted everyone to see the faces of those hard workers, our servants who are, who's been directing and working with our children, working with yes. their families, working with the churches, working with the pastors and working with both Denise and I, we truly yes. appreciate thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. And yes. We thank all our children. You have never failed us. You are always there. 
whether it's online or in person, you have always been there. Thank you. And to the parents who have entrusted their children into our care and understand that, you know, having a, the education of the, of the outside world is a good thing, but having that spiritual foundation is just as important. And so you have entrusted them in our care. We thank you. We pray God is going to continue to bless you. The families that have been supporting, thank you. Thank you. The church bodies that have been supporting, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And as we're winding down, we just want to close out with a brief word of prayer. Wherever you are, in your cars, in your home, in church, at work, I'm going to ask you to just bow your heads with knees. As we cover our children and their families at this time, amen. Ready? Here it goes. Father God. We give you thanks. Thank you, God. There are no words that can truly be shared to express how grateful we are for all that you have done. You have kept us through a time that may have seemed confusing. You have kept us through a time that may have seemed disheartening. You have kept us, Lord, yes, through God. a time where we are still uncertain of what the next day would bring. God, you've given us peace. Yes. You've given us sanity. You have given us health. You've given us strength. Father God, we are praying right now that you continue to embody us. Our children, they are all across this region. They're all across this United States. They're all across this world, oh God, that are and are being impacted by the influence of our society and of this pandemic. But God, you can hold us all. Yes, God. And sure. And so Thank we you. are entrusting their lives into your hands. And for the parents, God, I pray that you will continue to grant them peace. Yes, it's God. not an easy task to be locked up in the home, even with those that you love. And having to see them 24 hours and interact with them, it can become a little bit cumbersome, God, and, and confusing and too much. But Father, you have given them as a source of support as the source of, of divine intervention, God, in the lives of these children. You've given these children to these parents for a reason, and we appreciate it. We're praying, God, a special covering over them. For our leaders that continue to pray and work with the children, cover them as well, Lord. Continue to bless us as we wind down the year, oh God, with such an event. We thank you, Father, for this thank opportunity. Thank you, God continue to bless, continue to provide, continue to strengthen, continue to inspire and encourage our hearts as we continue to serve you, Jesus, in your holy, precious name. No other name but the name of Jesus. And we all say, Amen. 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 Oh my gosh, Denise, can you believe it? Yes. Can you believe it? <laughs> we have one now. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Christmas. Naomi. God bless. Merry Christmas, Miss Denise. Merry Christmas <laughs> to everybody. <laughs> Bye. Thank you to Nicole, my behind the scenes person. Thank you, Nicole, and, and all those Abby. who helped. And Abby, and we all appreciate those who you. Have helped. Thank you, thank you, Mr. thank Dana, you. Dana, thank you. God bless. Take care. Merry Christmas. Sing him a melody. Joy!
Please stand here. 